<laughs> hey, hey, we are back with Elysian Road going into part two of today's episode. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Let's roll some initiative. Ooh, I go first. Do you have a, a focus for That's that? I think the rules yeah. say I go first. <laughs> yeah, see, see, I knew that because I listened to the, the Elysian Road. Yeah. It's so funny. Yes. But, but it sounded I really go, funny for you to just say, way. I go first. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Every, <laughs> wow. every time. Uh, oh, I did not do as bad as I thought. Hey, don't worry. We're in the same boat, Connor. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> I guess I should ask if anybody else has level two of alert, because then I do have to roll. <laughs> uh, ooh, good question. Someone might. Let me check. <clears throat> uh, no. Someone has level okay. one of alert, but not level okay. two. And I go first. Too. <clears throat> All right. So, Evelyn, you're up here. Fergus, you're down here. And Evelyn, you've gotten bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's not polite at all. Uh, here, I thought Ode was the only one. Or I, know, I thought <laughs> Fergus is the only one who could shape. You guys are basically like here somewhere. Okay. Um, And then you are f- being faced by. This gal, so blonde, blonde hair chick. Uh, like, yeah, she definitely like has the same, same vibe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Same attitude. Does that does that character have a sucker a lot of the time? Is that yes? Is that why? Okay. It's like I feel like that's. Oh, oh, from my hero. Yeah. I no, like I don't think so. Eats candy a lot, doesn't she? she? No. No. Is she not. She does not know. Nice. <laughs> she likes to like the blood that's off of her true. knives. <laughs> And then this is yeah. the power armor guy. This is what he looks like. Yo. That's tight. <laughs> Time to look up power armor stats. <laughs> see how screwed we are. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, so let me add these. Add oh. these turns. I think the highest armor class natively in the game is 20, so I feel like it can't be that bad. It's pretty hard for me to get lower than a 20. So Fergus got one. Dylan got three. Wow, you guys really failed this. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. I'm going to go ahead and roll armor. Oh, it's it's not even 20. It's like 19 at the best. Why? All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll. Ooh, boy. Very strong. Yeah, was it? Okay. Wait, what? What? The uh, Jared, that field emitter panoply, it makes your strength four points higher. Oh, for encumbrance purposes, never mind. Oh, I'm so excited. (laughs) Then I might not be at negative two. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't actually. It's just for like when calculating how much you can carry, which doesn't really make sense. But it says it does everything that Storm Armor does, and Storm Armor does that. Okay, cool. So, uh, Ode, Whatever. obviously, you go first because you have the highest level of. Yeah, alert. I, mean, so, I don't know anything about these people. I feel yeah. bad kind of shooting them. You, you right definitely away. don't. All that you see is these two yeah. teleport in front of you. So a gal that literally has no armor or, or anything else. Like she has a, yeah. I think she, you can tell that she has two, she has two like monofilament blades. Um, oh, well that's, that's still very threatening. Yes. But she, yeah, she's wearing sweatpants and a hoodie. Um, She's wearing yeah. like athletic, athletic sweatpants and a hoodie, you know, in the same way that you, but you do. I'm the most dangerous person I know besides Fergus, and I'm wearing less than that. So, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah, you see the other dude in the giant thing of power armor, um, okay. and he pulls out. Um, he probably already had it on him, but you see, he has um, 
um, a giant two handed cannon of some sort, like personal okay. cannon. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like they're making their intentions pretty yes. clear. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. I, it was never intended to this be like a, oh, hey. All right. Well, then I'm not, I'm not going to hold my action then. That was, yeah. that was my point. Um, I mean, I do want to do that because I have a suspicion that I should, but also I don't think that my character has any reason to know that. So, um, I just look at Dylan and I shrug <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to shoot the big guy with my shotgun. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. So okay. we see you guys in, in this dark hallway with like the emergency lights on and stuff, right? Yeah. I'm also going to move away from the girl with the knives. I don't know where this map is very unspecific and they're currently dying in a hard vacuum. So I don't really know how close they are, but I mean, but I'd uh, say about like a full move and action away from you. I would like to not be in melee range of that lady <laughs> is the intention at the end of this yeah. round. <laughs> uh, okay. Here goes the thing. Oh, Oh, are they standing next to each other? They're standing next to each other. They are. Yeah. <laughs> Can you smithing? Um, right. Okay. Uh, cool. I- I'm just gonna shoot both of them instead. So. Okay. You have a focus I can do that or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it was a custom one. When making a shoot roll, basically I can shoot like I'm using a grenade, but it costs a bunch of mm-hmm. ammunition. Um. So extra bursts, and you're shooting both of them. Yeah. Now burst fire costs what? Two, two or three ammo? Is that right? Yeah, I fire? don't know off the top of my head what it actually costs. Um, okay. I'm going to burst fire pretty much every time, so we should probably... Yeah, I'm going to look it up right uh, now. Okay. Oh, I'll make my roll here. Yeah, good enough. 28. <sighs> if this doesn't hurt the power armor guy... <laughs> <laughs> he's turned He's turned to like, okay, we're running. <laughs> Um, do I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. That. What in the world? I mean, I mean the best. That's, that's what I have as well, and we have similar. Yeah. The best armor in the game <laughs> is 20. So. Uh, yeah. And the best power armor in the game is 19. You him. Okay. I, I hit both of them. I assume. You can uh, hit multiple yeah. people with burst fire. No, I can hit multiple people with my custom. I can hit multiple people. Oh. Thing. You fire three rounds of ammunition for a plus two bonus to hit and damage. All right. So I take three out for that. And then I take two out because I'm shooting two people. And that's how my thing works. So I've shot. I can do this three times. And I'll be out of ammo. <laughs> but they will take 21 damage. So there's that. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I don't think it has anything special. I don't know if there are special things to have in this game. Like, I don't think there's. Is there like armor piercing and stuff in this game? Ah, uh, good question. I think so. Cause because like your armor doesn't reduce damage or anything in this game, so that wouldn't matter. It's just your armor class, like in D D. Yeah, I think. So I think that's yeah, the case, I don't yeah. Think that matters. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I just hold the trigger down. <laughs> Fortunately, it won't kill them. It's it's the only reason I can be a liberal with this gun as I, as I am, because of like if I if I shoot them and it turns out I shouldn't have, it won't matter that much. Yeah, <laughs> it's very liberating. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm just marking their um their hit points. Oh, okay. Quick. Um. Yeah, both of them are definitely hit. Um. Yes, yeah, so you strike them with the with your shotgun here. Um. And they like dive to either side and try to like, you know, get defensive positions around alcoves and stuff. Um, in the meantime, we see a, a shuttle, bre- a couple of shuttles probably break off from um, oh boy. the uh, uh, the ISS Rubicon um, and fly towards the like hangar base here. Um, and I believe I'm going to double check what else might happen on this turn. It'd be great if our jet, ja- oh, the power is off. Never mind. <laughs> the power isn't off, but the, all the incoming and outgoing signals are. Oh, it'd be great if our giant spaceship had, I don't know, guns on it. It does. Someone should use those. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I would do it, but I'm currently using much, much smaller guns. <laughs> All right. So in the rules, I, I, I'm going to point some one thing out just so people aren't calling bull crap on what I'm about to attempt to do. <laughs> um, yeah. In the uh, book itself, there is a thing that talks about the possibility because of how tech works in this game of hacking something that is completely disconnected from a network. Given what I given what I know about who is attempting, who is now going to attempt to hack this thing, I think it's possible. It's going to be very difficult. Roll sounds like fake news. Is going up against my roll or a roll that's harder than the roll I made. What What was the one you made? I made. I want to say 15, but that might have been somebody else's. Um, oh, you, you did an automatic <laughs> max, didn't you? Oh, I did. <laughs> what's what's max for you? With, um, with let the me plus find two. Out. All right, so it's plus three because I have plus one program. So it would be 12, 13, 14. Plus your it intelligence, would, too. It would be, be 15. Oh, 16 then. Okay. Sounds good. This person's going to try to do uh, a 16 hack. Um, all right. Commit processing for the day as an on-turn action to automatically succeed at any hacking-based skill check not opposed by another AI. Cool. It's going to do that. I, didn't I have an that. AI in my brain, so I it's technically count. I, I'm no, pretty that's sure That's not I how count. that works. I'm pretty sure I count at this point. <laughs> So that is what it's going to do. Uh-oh. So, sorry, Connor. Our so ship's gone. Basically, what we get is um, Hans. We, we see Hans back on the ship, right? So we see these shuttles take, start to take off. Um, but we also see Hans back on the ship um, take a look at a like robot that's right next to him. Um, and the robot looks like this. So, like, kind of weird bulbous skull alien head looking thing but like yeah all black and and whatnot um it's staring off into nothingness and hans like turns to him and then says are you in yet and um i think he says yeah he says are you in yet sample and uh the robot apparently named sample says it will just it will take just a moment to bypass the quantum fields ah yes there we go The person who attempted to lock me out is very, very skilled, but uh, they are not an artificial intelligence. Um, And so suddenly... Yikes. Yeah, suddenly the ship literally does turn off, right? So all the systems just start going offline one by one. So we all just float and suffocate. (laughs) What, Connor? I just want to ask, did he roll for this? He has, because he is the true AI class... Um, no way. He has what? a thing where that? it's it's a class in the game that you can take. Um, he what has fun? a thing called processing. <laughs> um, it is <laughs> where it, 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 type true AI into the PDF. You'll find it. Um, he it basically he has a, what amounts to psychic abilities, psychic effort that he can commit, except with his like a godlike processing power. Uh, and he committed he can commit commit um basically what a, yeah commit processing once per day or commit processing for the day to automatically succeed on any hack based hack skill so there's no way to like to like combat this until he runs out of effort or or i say you can make this roll and here are the consequences and he's not gonna be able to like reverse them don't worry i'm just gonna roll another hack and then use another yeah no so so yeah if if fergus if fergus (laughs) no i think if fergus finds out what happened and he tries to reverse it and succeeds on his skill check he will you'll be locked he'll be locked out it's just there was there's one last trick he, he could try to try to still break through and I'll, I'll, I'll after the session's over I'll try to find the exact part in the book where it talks about it it's kind of interesting um, but uh, yeah it's technically possible given the tech um, that everybody's dealing with and the way AIs work um, where did where did you find this it's not a, obviously it's not a normal class it's not in the class section yeah it's it's toward the back of the book but yeah it's a, it's a it, class it's that from it, Caleb's mindscape no it's it's a class in there <laughs> is it like a GM only class is that how it no, like it literally gives you the option. It's like players can play this class if they want to. It's just like a. Well, why it's didn't like a, say that in the class section? Because it's it's like an extra thing. It's like a subsystem that can be added on, right? Uh, if GMs want to play with AIs or whatever. Cool. 
Um, yeah, so that happens. And so I think what this means is, is. Um, the the various subsystems. I think the first thing that happens is all this, you don't have access to any of the subsystems anymore, right? So if Evelyn's going to try to take a shot at the, at the ISS Rubicon, it's not going to work. But now there's a, it's going to be a wave, a cascading wave of failure throughout the whole ship, which will eventually, yes, lead to gravity being turned off life support systems being turned off but it's going to take a while for all of that to like start shutting down but basically he's trying to set down a catastrophic system failure for the whole ship um which is now starting to take effect Um, yikes next it's hans caesar crawl's turn let's take a look at what he has that he can do Oh, they don't have. Oh, I forgot those rules for mechs. What? That's cool. I want to buy a mech. How much does this cost? That's a. That costs a million dollars. That's a lot. <laughs> what does? I'm looking at mechs. Okay, this the smallest one is 178,000. The oh, most okay. expensive one is three million. <laughs> well, I was just like, what? David's goal. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I I can't hold on to stuff that's 20k. If I buy something that expensive, it'll just disintegrate the moment I touch it. <laughs> like your grab cycle and your fancy gun. Exactly. Except for this costs magnitudes and more amounts of money, which means I'll. Have it for magnitudes David, less time. This, this is a lesson that you need to take care of your stuff. <laughs> hi, Ruth. Uh, d- yeah. They say hi. She, she waved. I, I, I saw. <laughs> okay, so we see we see Caesar um, commit his commit some effort, but we don't know what he did. Um, wow. He activates the psychic power as he's Damn. talking to Sample, and that's what he does. All right, the power armor dude, um, whose you know, name name for the sake of convenience is named Victor Arthur Halverson. Um, oh boy, <laughs> dude, dude, that guy just oozes machismo. Holy yes. cow! <laughs> I, I'm intimidated, and I haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> um, so, so real quick, mm-hmm. uh, I was moving, but I I don't really know the landscape where. Is there any cover in here? That I could have moved to. Um, I think there are slight alcoves where terminals are right. that you could. I'd like to move cover. back away from Knife Lady and into an alcove. Sounds good. Because <laughs> a giant laser cannon sounds like it could be a bad time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Although I might take it from him when I kill him because it sounds cool. I mean, I'm not going to kill him. <laughs> Different RPG now. <laughs> okay. Let's see, look like I had fitness power armor. So I think what he does first, uh, he really he's like he looks down at his armor and realizes how much damage you actually did to him, and he like swears you know in some Norse language, um, and then he it's rude he, to just not pop in, not knock, you know. <laughs> he he brings his um, what's it called the uh, uh his like cannon thing to one side, so he like lets go of it with one hand, brings it to the side and kind of like rests it against his hip, and then he click something on his wrist like part of the armor and then he points it down and then fires a missile from oh. his okay. from his uh little like wrist launcher does he say knock knock first <laughs> <laughs> no he he just says oh. um i don't think he says anything he just <laughs> okay. i thought it was rude not to knock so that's what i thought anyways yeah Okay, well that's bad. Oh, I, you said it was rude not to knock. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that I thought you were like like referencing something. Um, no. Okay, no, that's what he says. He says, "Knock, knock." <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good back and forth. That's fine. Thank you. Um. <laughs> all right, does, so he's gonna he try to shoot to hit it. My armor class to this is a bomb. I don't know how um, that works. Let me double check. It's been this. so long since I've hit someone with a grenade. I feel like you don't have to worry as much about armor class. Uh, no, it, um, 
because you're standing far enough away from each other, I think it's only going to hit one of you, and uh, he's going to fire it at you. Oh. That makes sense. What the? Assuming he has to hit my arm class, you are the three. Oh, no, 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 no. I... I put it. In, uh, I put the thing in wrong. Uh, there's something I mean, wrong with that. It's, it's it's still a three. Oh yeah. No. I mean, yeah. You rolled a three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's just a really bad roll. Yeah. It's a really bad roll. That was his one missile. Does, okay. <laughs> does he have to hit my armor class? Yeah, he does. So b- so th- this says the the weapons are usually equipped with basic tracking uh, sensors, but are of limited accuracy against human sized targets. Oh, so. he gets a minus four hit penalty against targets. Yeah. So it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have hit anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he got. He, gets, he did just fire a rocket inside of a spaceship. And yes, it definitely. <laughs> yeah, it does more Jerk. damage than just attacking you. It blows up yeah. the terminal that you're like next to. You have to dodge out of the way. Um, and I mean, like yeah, you're you're, you're deep enough blows. inside the spaceship that it's not true. like it's not like it's, it's going to rip out into space or anything like that. Yeah, but you've it definitely done some in in some damage to some sort of in in uh, I, inner I mean, guts of the spaceship. It only did thirteen. Yeah, that's a terrible. It did less. Though. It did less than David's. Yeah, I think it was just an effective bad, rocket. Yeah, oh, it was probably really bad. Oh yeah, it was like a dud or whatever. It probably yeah. just sunk into the wall and didn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> it was. A, it just bounces around a bunch and just digs into something. We're like, uh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's fine. They'll say just, varying that's degrees of sophistication. To- totally fine that this my cool NPC just does this first thing he ever does. Totally fine. <laughs> I'm not salty at all. <laughs> He's a comic relief character now. Sorry. <laughs> all right. What's so his name again? Victor. What's his full name? Vic- Victor Arthur Halverson. You have to say his full name every time. <laughs> it's a pretty good name. Yeah. And um, the lady's name, the gal's name, who uh, uh, whose name is full name is Juliana Alexandria Molina. Um, but these we'll, people are so extra. <laughs> we'll we'll, re- we'll refer to them. We'll refer to her as Alex. Um, okay. <laughs> is going to rush to you, Dylan, and attack you with her dual yeah. blades. Sword fight. <clears throat> there you go. T- Twenty-five hit on you, Dylan, which I assume oh, is. Boy. Yikes! I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's only eleven damage, though. That's not that uh, bad. Yeah, you have nineteen armor class. Uh, yeah, so eleven damage. Go ahead and minus us off your hit points. I in, in don't know where there. anything is anymore. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it should be right there. Yep. So she comes over to you, and we definitely get like a um uh, Ochako versus creepy lady sort of scene, right? Where she's obviously a little unhinged, and yeah. she's like, <sighs> like, kind of like yelling at oh, you as totally she like. What, oh, it's totally what this is. Yeah. <laughs> as as Dylan's trying to like dance out of the way and like barely fending her off, and she gets cut along the side, and she just looks down like, and then um Alex says. Oh, what a pretty little cut. And then she just <laughs> rushes forward. Ugh. It's fine. It's mono move. I could really heal in like two minutes. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, it's your Assuming turn. What do you do in response? Um, you just to try to attack her with your sun baton. Yeah. I was trying to think for a second whether or not she had her actual sword on her. Um, but probably not, honestly. Um, and I don't know if she would even use it, even in this circumstance. But yeah. Yeah. Do we have modified her sword to be like a taser weapon? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, oh, like the her actual you sword? You got her a separate I, sword. I, I did, but you we've also action. been s- sitting in space. Could we have not modified hers? The one that she has now? On a warship, probably, like, but like I don't know any reason you really would have because the whole point, so the whole point was to... no right, but the whole point was that so Dylan wouldn't have to kill people, right? Right. I'm saying, could you modify her lethal sword into a non-lethal sword? Well, she already has a... that. She already has the sword-shaped stun baton. Remember that you bought her? But no, because that, that was the... stuck in the apartment, and I was not happy about leaving that behind either. Oh, that was, was my. Uh... That was why I was salty. That's why I said thirty five thousand dollars worth of weapons. Oh, her you're sword right. Was there as yeah. Well. Um, in the apartment so, with my shiny gun it was also your shiny sword. Where, where we kidnapped Chloe? Ca- we don't need these. Chloe captured you. Remember at the very end of the the season? end of the last. You, yeah. yeah, I just you, watched. Only you wouldn't that have episode. got. Yeah, you wouldn't have got your Sambaton back because you would have had it. Also has 
stealth versions of her normal sword and her stun baton. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Did I buy those two? I no, I, I no, got every... So- <laughs> I so got Dylan, a god hack yeah dylan you one. have yes. you have a stealth regular sword and you have a stealth regular stun baton so it's not a sword shaped stun baton but first oh. could have gotten you a some a, a stealth stun baton so you could have your just regular stun baton if you want yeah up to you what do you think dylan would dylan would have grabbed given that situation i think maybe she like when she went to grab her weapon initially, I think maybe maybe she would have just grabbed her normal sword because yeah, like she wasn't thinking and she was just like, I just need something to fight with kind of a thing. And I also and tossed that, it to you. So yeah. I probably didn't even think, I probably was just like, the sword, that's what she uses. Threw it to you. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> um, and she probably like didn't even realize that it was her lethal sword until right. she like, <laughs> <laughs> took it out to attack this girl yeah um uh, <laughs> but whoops. she's at this point she's just like oh oh game on like yeah. i'm gonna attack you kind of a thing uh-huh nice because i like i still want to be true to her character from last season where she's super sensitive about killing people yeah but i don't want her to like completely refuse to kill anyone in any circumstance yeah. all right yeah i mean you're gonna die if you don't uh, yeah probably yeah. she's very clearly a psychopath so <laughs> she's, her first response to cutting someone was like oh look how cute that was <laughs> yeah good yeah go ahead and roll your sword then Um, is it just the one that's on here? Yeah. Okay. Oops. 14 is not good enough, unfortunately. So no. <laughs> she, she, she blocks six them. damage though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Unless her AC is what? Or, wait. Against AC less than 13. Is that what that's? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't she doesn't how take any works. damage then. Yeah. Okay. No damage. I, yeah. Yeah. So, Shock what it, what it is for her straight. is so she's a teleporter, right? So she yeah. just ends up micro teleporting like a bajillion right. times and she's keeps like dodging. Western. Yeah. Keeps dodging out of the way. A creepier something. Very annoying. All right, Evelyn. So you notice a couple of things, right? Okay. Uh, Odin Dylan have been attacked by someone. And you know this because they're your telepathic link. And you also see the ISS Rubicon on the other side. And you see some shuttles taking off from it and heading towards your ship. You also notice that there's a cascading system failure happening on the ship. Someone still got in some uh, somehow. Everything's going wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, so power's off on the ship. It's starting to be off. So you 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 know what? Immediately, a bunch of people around you are like, "I don't have access to this system, this system." Right, right. And so they're you're locked out, but then they're cascading like dominoes, and everything's starting to shut off. Starting with like the weapons, and then moving last would be like life support and gravity. So in Fergus, how where is Fergus at with the nanonites? Fergus is a is almost to the ship, the other ship, and he's gonna try to like hack them from there. Thought I was on the like I just you you basically you're just about to land, yeah. Okay. What was so your turn? You'll have landed. Yeah. And so everything is relatively fine. I mean, yeah. In terms this, of like that at, round, at, at this exact moment, moment, yeah, things are about to get bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Till and then. Can Till's I do gonna, a lead roll to uh like um basically like uh what's it called? Like assemble the crew. Like assemb- assemble the men to help all everybody except for Fergus, I suppose. So really, just you do want to direct the Dylan and, and any, any of your revolutionaries that you can towards Dylan and Ode. To, to Dylan and Ode, and then also uh, send people to fix the ship to stop the okay. the hack, basically. Yeah, I mean, there is not going to be anyone on this ship who can actually attempt that because only pretty much only Fergus or Till could attempt that at this point. Uh, but, I, I, that's what but I you don't know but that. They're yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's fine. Right, yeah, so that's true. Give, yeah. a, give a bonus or advantage mm-hmm. to whoever. Um, one thing you do real you do do realize, given the cascading failure, is that um, Till might be risking something even further if he continues with the spike drill. 
Um, if he attempts to act, he can still do it because he succeeded, right? As long as Fergus buys you the the couple rounds of or whatever of time that you right. would need to for the sh- ship to not be eaten or, or like, you know, the, for the nanas to be distracted. As long as that happens, the spike dry- drill is still going to go through. But the issue is by the time it actually goes through, there might be enough systems offline that something really bad might happen if you actually attempt it. Right. So like okay. the 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 um, shields that keep the space dust from not ripping through everything, that sort of thing. Right. Like those might be offline at that point. So you'll have to make that call when you get to it, basically, to let whether or not Till presses the big red button. Yep. OK. Um. But yeah. Evelyn sees all this in her precog strategic mind. And then what, what does she do besides just like tell people where to go? Um. Yeah, that, that's what she does. She tells people, tells people where to go. Okay, just make she a lead role. Assigns then. people to yeah. to. Were you saying what else do I do? I was saying, yeah. I mean, if if it's just, I think you can do one of two ways, right? You can make a lead role, and then there'll be some mechanical benefits to to your action here, or you can just tell them to do that. That'll be happening in the background, and you can make another action. I don't see another action I should particularly yeah, be helpful, except for. With you, Fergus, if you wanted me to make a no roll to help know what the best way is to beat these nanobot things. Well, on on my turn, I guess talking is a free action. Mm -hmm. I'd ask you whether you want me to try and get the ship back on and stop whoever's hacking it or to try and do something with the nano swarm. I definitely think the nanobots because that's the more eminent danger. Or I guess that's the source of the danger. We don't need to move the ship if that's destroyed if those are destroyed yeah, destroyed okay <laughs> <laughs> cool so you just want to make a lead roll then evelyn i think so unless, unless fergus do you want me to make a no roll to help you with the nanobots um, uh, up to you i don't really i don't even know what i do I don't know what I'm doing right now. So I'm, <laughs> <that's my brain. laughs> uh, Caleb, attribute uh, for lead. Yeah. Um, intelligence. I guess it's t- the intelligence because I don't think. Sweet. Wow, that wasn't very good. For it. <gasps> um, wow. I think that's the no eight is the base. I think for you to get the plus one. Um. So mm-hmm. this isn't this isn't going to actually give any mechanical bonus to anybody, but people are still doing what you're saying. So I'm going to use alternate outcome. Alternate I think. outcome. Yep. Okay. I think I think to get everybody going is going to be helpful. Cool. Yeah. Do it. So I'm going to do it again, unless totally. y'all think that's a dumb idea. Well, I mean, the one thing that comes to mind for me, just as the GM, and you know, just because if Evelyn knows Hans is involved with this somehow. If you're going to actually have to face off against him, you might need every trick you can have. You can get. How, how long? How long do you have to commit effort to do this to do alternate outcome? How long do I have to commit? Oh, oh everything I have is once once per day. Oh, OK. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that seems, like, that seems like a bad day. idea then. Given so, what you know, uh, the the, uh, the issue in my head is we're going to spike away. We're not going to face off with this guy okay. today. Then if that's, that's, that's what that's fine. I, I'm thinking in my head. Totally fine. Yep. Then again, go for it. That I feel sense. like that. That seems like a, a thing that Evelyn would try. Yeah, that makes sense. She would, she would care more about just getting away and not trying to face him. Yeah. Do it. And, and to get those bonuses for to fix the ship, that'll be us getting away. Sure. Giving him yep. a plus two bonus or whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Go for it. There you go. 13. Yep. So that's a plus two. Plus so now two for Till anyone who needs to try those to, things. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And a plus two for Evelyn and, or not Evelyn. Goodness gracious. That's me. Dylan and o- Odin. Yeah. For when they need to. So basically I'll, I'll say Odin Dylan that uh, Evelyn was able to um, um, direct some soldiers, some revolutionaries to come help you in this fight. And so I think just to make everything more simple, we won't put them in the actual fight, but we can say Odin Dylan get yeah, plus twos. To, to what they're doing okay. um, Sounds good. To, to help with things so Fergus you land rather roughly on the the Rick Astley spaceship so considering it's hundreds upon hundreds of years old are there any like holes I can just crawl yeah. into oh yeah or? you literally you've landed on oh, it okay. and you can walk right into one of the corridors so perfect I make my way I go I try to aim towards wherever the 
core would be mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. try and get to the core. And uh, go ahead and make a notice with intelligence to see how easily you can get there. Can I add plus one because of Evangelion? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, because it's really old. Yeah, she'd probably know the layout. That, that, oh, I have to choose my attribute. Oof. Ooh, only a seven. Yeah, so... Oh. You, you, uh, never mind. I can't you you spend a turn else. trying to find it and haven't found Connor. it yet. Alternate. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for you? I'm sorry, I was reading something. What what did you just do? Fergus I was trying to... Finding the core. So, he's, so he basically wasted alternate a turn. Outcome? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not going to do alternate outcome. Okay. I spend a turn looking for the core. Yep. Sounds good. Ode? Yeah. Uh, okay, so she moved to attack Dylan. How yep. how many meters is she away from armor guy? How, how much how much can you move in a turn? 10 meters. So I think I can say 10 meters is how far oh, she is okay. away. Well, that's too many meters, so I shoot the armor guy. Sounds good. Do it. <laughs> this is what I wanted to happen anyway. Ode faces off against this, uh, and Dylan faces off against the gal. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not in cover, right? He didn't do any cover. No. Mm -mm. Cool. 23. <laughs> Ode, you're ridiculous. I rolled an 8. <laughs> <laughs> I, how is that possible why do i have a oh it's sevens from being a warrior yeah you so have many numbers there class. oh it's okay anyways whoa yeah. whoa whoa oh he his attack bonus is not what it should be dang that's rough he was still wouldn't hit with a missile but um oh. no, what's oh, your armor class well. uh 21 yeah he wouldn't have hit with the missile but yeah he i it his attack bonus was two for some reason, and it should have been seven. <laughs> hey. I, was like, I was wondering about that. I was like, there's no that's, way. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Um, okay yeah, uh, he good. takes 21 damage again. <laughs> yep. And I'm down to seven bullets. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I just look at his missile. I look back. That's rough. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's rough, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, sounds good. I'm more shots. Checking something here. If he doesn't die here, he has way more health than me. Well, oh, you know more. what? Um, he is going to actually use That's a thing more. to not be hit by that. So we, okay, we well, see. I'm going to use my thing to make him hit him anyways. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. Let me, let me look at this. Let me, I I, I'm going to read ability. it before I actually do it. I'm going to read what it actually does. Um. It just makes an attack that you missed. Uh, yeah. To reroll, yeah. I'm not gonna have. It. I'm not gonna force you to reroll. You're still gonna, still gonna. Oh, is it a reroll? So. I thought it yeah. just made it hit. It's a different. Oh yeah, he's not. He's not using his warrior thing. He has a different oh. thing. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, a reroll probably wouldn't do anything. <laughs> um, I see. Okay, is he still alive. He has a lot of HP. He does. Oh, yeah. my constitution's bad. His probably isn't. <laughs> Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what happens. What? So we 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 get a, a point. I get some more point. We we've been jumping back and forth between your guys' crew and Hans's crew, and we get a little bit more like detail from from this from this time. And Hans, um, sees some like sees all this go down, and then he just like shakes his head. He says, "No, no, that is not a good outcome." And then we see him channel his psychic ability through Victor and do the thing with a precog thing where he turns back the entire turn order back to the last turn. Um, so basically, it's the top of the last round. So I get my <gasps> bullets back. So I so get to nothing do my happened. again? Yeah. Not, none of the, the, the entire turn didn't happen now. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Yep. <laughs> no, that's that's great for me. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. I just So everyone go yeah. ahead and reset all their stuff. It's 1041. Do we don't have time to do that again? <laughs> no, I know. We'll uh, we'll stop wherever we, we uh, land, right? Okay. When, as soon as it hits the time, we'll just stop. In the morning. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. We'll 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 stop at a cliffhanger wherever no, we no. need to stop. Yeah, okay. Um I'm so upset now. No, no, <laughs> I know you are. Connor, this is what happens when you deal with another precog though. <laughs> No, I, I'm upset because I was waiting. I did I specifically didn't use alternate outcome 
on Jared because I wanted a very dramatic scene of me using that ability <laughs> because I just got that ability and I just oh. became a plus three precog and I was like, heck yeah, this is going to be so cool. A great moment where I reverse all this bad stuff and then you just made you the still bad can, guy though. do it instead. Yeah, yeah, but you just made the bad guy do it instead. But I honestly, mean, like the character he's built is literally that for you. You're like, I have this cool mm-hmm. thing. It's like, yes, so do I. I had it first. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So um, what so annoying. I missed something. So, so it's my turn again, right? Yeah. Hans, uh, the psych, the psychic on the on the ship on the other ship, uh, just reverse time back to the beginning of the turn order, so you never got hit by her. None of that ever happened. Okay. So you yeah, still are you're you're facing off with her originally, and nothing happened. Oh wait, so the first turn didn't happen. Like the, nothing of this happened yet. We started all the way over. Or what, do we t- do we do two turns? I don't remember. I don't think we only did one. Well, yeah, I think yeah, so. You only got one shot. Okay. Uh, so I get all my ammo back. Yep. Okay. Wait. So Wait, so he no, turns back one David and a half shot turns. him once, right? I did. Just so now. He, okay. Just now, though. Oh, yeah, that was the beginning of the second round, That's, basically. Yeah, so. exactly. So he's reversing it back to the beginning of the first round. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna shoot both of them now. Yes. Again. <laughs> okay. Yep. Good. <laughs> Which means he has his missile back. Yes. So that's not great. Yep. Oh, no. uh, and none of you notice anything. Like, it's probably like a, a deja vu moment that happens, oh, yeah. but like you don't notice. I got a 19 this time. Might actually not hit him this time. Uh, yeah, you, you hit her, but you don't hit him. So do you, is the armor class succeed or meet? Uh, meet. Okay. So yeah. does he have special armor then? Because he does. The best armor in the game is 19. Okay. Well, well does he, no, no, no. So he, ha- he just has a dex bonus or whatever. Yeah, I don't think you get that in power armor. Um, let me double check. That would be shocking. Well, I guess maybe power. I don't. Yeah, like, I don't think it says anything about that in the rules. I don't know how your dex bonus works at all with that. On, if I'm totally honest with you, super high it tech does seem suits. weird. But do you get <laughs> yeah, do you get your it, bonus with like normal armor? I don't. I I don't remember uh, there being anything about dex bonus not accounting in any of the listings. So. You can you can look at it if you want, but I think his uh, AC is going to be twenty one either way. I think, um, because he would have had the money to just spend some more credits to make it special armor that right. gets, still gives him his dex bonus, yeah, so it doesn't matter. That's fine; it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, yeah, she gets hit by it and takes the twenty three. Um. Oh yeah, no armor or not, you add your dex modifier. Nice. Yeah, so she gets hit, he doesn't, um, yeah. and you can tell. So, so in in actual canon, he was the one who used this ability, and actually in reality, he was channeling Hans when he did it. Uh, it's actually probably the way it actually went down. So he's aware of this, um, and I think all honestly, oh, I think all. Okay. Of, so we get a we get a again. This is player knowledge versus character knowledge stuff, but we get a, a sneak preview right. that they're all connected by a psychic link somehow, like a more advanced psychic link than just a telepathy thing. And so oh, I think great. all of all three of them are aware of this that it happened, and because mm-hmm. one of them used the ability, but they're all like kind of connected with it. So, gotcha. Um, yes. So, so my right. question is, where is the where's the evil Evelyn? Because we're fighting oh, evil yeah. Fergus and evil Ode and evil evil Dylan. So well, where's evil? Well, evil evil Evelyn is Hans. Oh, yeah. Oh crap. Well, where's evil Fergus? That's even more. Evil <laughs> Fergus is the AI. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't make that connection. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that happened. Uh, Sample does the exact same thing he did again because he, he just has to commit effort or whatever to do it, right? He doesn't have to roll. Um, so he starts okay. the cascade failure again. Um, right. Hans does his same ability that he activated before. Um, Victor, this time, is not going to shoot the missile. Because he realizes it's not effective in close quarters, he was just mad. Uh, instead, he's <laughs> instead he's going to yeah. point his thunder gun at you. Thunder which is the, gun. That was the cannon that I described. I just didn't say. Oh boy! Name. All right. Well, I, I I mean I didn't say as much, but I moved back into cover like I did last time as well. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. Thunder guns are named for their baso by by vibrations caused by their operation, a sound that can be felt as far as 30 meters away from an operator. This two-handed weapon uses grav plates to create rapid, randomized disruptions in a target that increase the chance of complete structural collapse. If a thunder gun hits a target with an unmodified hit roll of 16 or higher, 
an extra 1d10 damage is rolled. This bonus damage always applies to inanimate targets. Uh, Mr. Sicarian had a thunder gun and it was, yep. it was grody. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. So he's going to just blast it down the hallway here. Cool. And still Wait, miss. What? Oh, he rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He rolled a one. <laughs> Dang. That's what I get, I guess. <laughs> he's probably not very happy about that. Those so we see, we, we see this time Dude, the he's en- going to get tilted. Yeah, the, the entire hallway ripples, right? The metal just yeah. like ripples like a wave hit it and it's just completely just destroyed. Not spaceship kosher. No, very much not. <laughs> 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 Nothing he does sounds like a good idea in a spaceship. Fortunately, it's a very big spaceship. It's, it's an enemy spaceship too, so. That's well, I mean, yeah, I suppose he's in a sealed suit. So, mm-hmm. yeah. That and he wants like they're literally going to like eat the spaceship. So I don't think it's the same people. Oh, don't you don't think get so. the impression those are connect. I mean, maybe they are. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, Viber Blaze Girl is going to attack Dylan again, you know, for the first time. And oh, oh misses that misses. That misses this time. Yeah. Uh, all right, Dylan, it's you. Maybe maybe time will be in your favor here. Yeah, as I say, I think this is this is basically just turned out to be the same, except for he's yeah. there's just less damage all around. So I think the I think the main reason that she missed the first time was because she realized that the sword she was holding was her lethal sword. And she was like, Oh, am I about to stab her? And then obviously she still tried, but then the gal teleported away. But now she's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna stay. Well, technically, you didn't even live through that hole. Yeah, this time she doesn't hit you at all. That's fair. So hopefully, she just doesn't stumble this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll depend on the roll, I guess. Vibroblades? Are we in Star plus, Wars? I I didn't wait, know what to call them. Has, it's okay. Do we still have a plus two modifier from Evelyn or not? Because that didn't no, happen, it didn't right? happen. It did not happen. No. There you go. Nice. Yeah, so what, probably what it is, is Dylan, you, this time you don't hesitate. Well, I mean, probably just because she hadn't stabbed me. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Right, right. <laughs> That's, yep. Seems fair. Uh, cool, so 21. That numerical palindrome, 2, 1, and a 1, 2. Yeah. So it, what's funny is I think what she says is she says the same thing except to herself. She <laughs> said, right? So she says, she says, yeah. oh, what a cute little cut. And honestly, that probably might be worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Evelyn, what do you do for the first time? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate do, you. Do you use your psychic uh, ability and then revert time again? <laughs> no, why would I do that? We'll, we'll, we'll play, play the same, <laughs> same turn three times. Let's do it. No, no I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I don't. That ability. He can only do that once, right? Just that again. I think he can only do it once, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to use, I'm going to do a leader roll, I suppose. Sounds good. You feel Let deja vu as you know. do it. <laughs> yep. I'm like, you probably, you probably more right strongly. Here. Yeah, more strongly than yeah. anybody else. There you go. That's a good one. Didn't even need to use Something alternate outcome. Wrong. Yeah, I got my yeah. Yeah. Yep. Honestly, this I, I think this turn has worked out worked out better <laughs> than yep. the other turn. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Fergus, you cool. land on the spaceship for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> hey Evelyn, should I <laughs> <laughs> should I try and uh hack the computer back or should I try and get the swarm under control? I, I think you should <laughs> <laughs> do the swarm because then you can send the swarm after their spaceship i i think you should send this fight the swarm the swarm uh, okay. yes G- th- okay <laughs> and then fergus is like wait <laughs> yep <laughs> we're all just feeling like super uh-huh. confused yep <laughs> and then i'm like hey fuck evangelia ship help and she says, this has already happened before. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, I had a little taste of the deja vu there. Kind of like, yeah, he used time, timey-wimey. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't think I don't think Fergus still knows about Hans at, at all yet. I don't think Evelyn said anything. Right, well, I, maybe you assume she did. Oh they yeah, time you I mean. Oh, or, like the nanobite. You probably would just assume the nanite said it or something. Yeah. yeah, I would have assumed Evelyn used the it. timey like, Oh, it's, it's, it's like it's like Edge of Tomorrow. Like the the yeah. nanites would just keep reversing time mm-hmm. until they win. Yeah, I did. Ellen tells us stuff now, so I figured she'd tell us if she did the time you like me. Yeah, that's true. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. Um, I'll do. I'm sorry. I'm super sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. That's fine. Good. Uh, yeah, I'll try and get the swarm under control, but someone used the timey wimey. <laughs> someone used the timey wimey. <laughs> yeah, this all has happened before. <laughs> there you uh, go. This is way better. Uh huh. I'm like, I, I think they just helped us a lot. <laughs> and we just see, we just see Hans <laughs> frowning, right? We just see him just frowning, just like, hmm, like something mm, that didn't work. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so Fergus, you find it. The, okay. Yeah. And, and I think this means I think you find it in enough time to do something about it this round. Right. Ooh. I mean, uh, 13. Gonna, yeah. Go for it. I'm going to plug my black slab in and be like, all right. Let, and I'm talking to Evangelia. Let's let's hope this works. <laughs> so your intent is to basically what? Uh, for basic intent now. It's to have them not attack our ship, but have them have it have it identify our ship as an ally, whereas Got the it. the other ship is yeah food. Okay. Um, are you Big just ships are friends, not food? Are you just trying to straight computer hack the ship, or are you using your psychic abilities? One but will I be more do... risky. Both. Yes, if you if you open your brain, though, it's you're gonna <clears throat> risk them attacking you psychically. It'll be easier, though, to actually okay. do what you want to do. So if I program and open my brain up at the same time, when I get like a plus one or I, I think you can roll uh, your telepathy to give yourself a bonus to your hack. Okay. To your program. Like a linked test. Yeah. Like you're helping right. yourself. Um, it's that telepathy. There we go. Hey, uh, Evangelia, you think you could give me some brain juice? <laughs> what am I here for except to just help you with every single, single thing that you need? <laughs> is that is that s- some sarcasm I hear? <laughs> I didn't know brain psychic AI gods had senses of humor. We have little <laughs> else oh, to do. <laughs> we have little else to do in the thousand years since we were born than to make than to think of clever remarks. <laughs> have you ever experienced that moment where you remember a conversation you had where you didn't get didn't get the last word in and you finally remember that that thing you should have said that would have totally destroyed their argument think about that except for a thousand years over and over again that sucks i always have the last word <laughs> <laughs> and then i leave the brainscape <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <sounds good>. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah then you shut off the connection yeah okay go ahead uh so does she your give me, top uh, first yeah yeah does she give me a modifier for that yeah plus one she is level four she is not level four now because she's a oh, very she's small piece brain. of herself yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha so you can merely nudge. Oh, oh that's bad. Hey, uh, hey Connor. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do you want to turn back time? <laughs> so keep in mind, this role is only going to accomplish a plus one or a plus two to a different role. Okay. No, I'm not gonna... Okay, yeah. So this is no. if my program fails. If I'll... your program fails, then you're going to open your brain up in the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. In the wrong way. Yikes. Is Evangelia helping me with this as well? or No, she can't really. No. Okay. Um, Intelligence. It needs a new pair of shoes. Eleven. Eleven's not the worst. Then I shove in a stiletto charge. (laughs) He's going to make a max success anyway. (laughs) Yeah, sounds good. You gave me 20. I don't know what you were thinking. (laughs) 
I love how there's like a whole hacking system and they're like, but you can also just buy this item and not worry about it at all. I have don't worry, I have I only have 19. <laughs> can I can I use two to make it like a double success? No. To make it how 16 plus 16 So I I am realizing I am realizing stiletto charges are like specific like special hacking thing so there will probably be a couple on the ship but there wouldn't be 20 there'd yeah. be this is like okay. a military ship so let's say you had five instead okay there we go uh cool so <clears throat> max success um we see the nanites start to take it's going to take a little bit of time but you've at least you've at least stunned them for now and the process is having to like you're basically having to reprogram them quickly okay. so it's 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 happening but it's going to be a little bit at least one more turn before it happens it actually mm-hmm. like finishes uh, but they're stunned for now um and honestly we probably should just end on that and cliffhanger it there um, yeah i was going to i was just about to yep. say i got to jump off yeah so We'll we'll do a quick after show because um, that's the thing we do now. Um, uh, as one final thing, mm-hmm. as part of my success, could I register myself as owner of the ship? <laughs> my like DNA biometrics or whatever. Uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Yay. I think I think there are co- there are consequences to that that are outside the scope of this role. But um, <laughs> yes, you did that, and that might be a thing later. So we see this all happen, right? And um, and then. We just get the I, I'm trying to think of like the last like dramatic thing that happens. Um so so I, I think Oh, I forgot that Till um Till <laughs> doesn't have a turn on here. I should have had him in there. Um so let's let's do with Till, we'll end with Till. And I think what happens is he basically says he says, Evelyn, i f- I figured out the spike drill. It's going to be dangerous, but I can attempt it. Do I do it? Yes. Uh, I have the robots under control. <laughs> but for how much longer? There's also Hans. This ship is literally going into a catastrophic failure. It probably is good to still. Uh, give Give me one more turn. I can hack the guy back. <laughs> <laughs> you still but say yes, Evelyn? It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah. So he says, you're the boss. And then... <laughs> presses the button darn right on the boss (laughs) he says that obviously like like regretting about what he's about to do he's just like this is gonna end up badly (laughs) um and then he presses the button i'm gonna gonna, this is the last thing we'll do i'll make the roll for till he's gonna have to make a program roll um because um wait a second uh what did i get for that roll what did i get for the pilot roll um I think you've got. I got a 15. fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am. I'm going to make a fix roll for him, um, with help from the engineers you fought. But basically, to his last second, like hope, hoping the shields will stay up, that everything, that at least the the critical systems that need to be up for the spike drill to work still are functioning as this failure is trying to happen. I'll make that roll for him, and then we'll. Has we'll, anyone we'll used it. Evelyn's leadership bonus yet? Because you should give him uh, two. No, that's. Th- I mean, that's what it is. That's what I was oh, just referring okay. to. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Um. All right, so he can do this with intelligence. I'm trying to figure out what the difficulty is. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a twelve. <laughs> Another fifteen. <laughs> wow, those are yeah. really good rolls from Till. Um. Yeah. So this is what we see. We see Till like see something at the very last second before he presses the button. He sees like you know, dust shields offline. And then he says, oh, nope. And then he like does something really quick, gets them back online with emergency power for just long enough to make the spike drill. And then poof, you guys vanish. Um, The ISS, so the shuttles were about to like come in, right? And they don't make it in time in the, in the spike drill. Like they just go into empty space. And we see the the, the, the nanites like hanging in, in void space as well. Um. And then, yeah, there's just emptiness where you guys were. And with, Fergus just hanging out in space. Yeah, Fergus is just hanging out in space. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got my own ship now. <laughs> That's true. I got, yeah. I got yeah. Ship. We're good. <laughs> I don't think it works very well. I mean, it, it, it can fly. Uh, yeah. And then the last <laughs> thing we see is we we get a, a close up on on Han Caesar crawl, and he just frowns even more deeply. And then we hear. Um, sampled the robot from behind him to say this is not what you predicted 
and then we just like <laughs> you know, also Road. keep in mind uh he can only use that once per day anyway I, no matter what like yeah, the initiative thing he can yeah, only use that once per day he can only use it once yeah yeah no i wasn't is, i wasn't trying to tell you i was trying to tell them so yeah that yeah they know it's we're not gonna jump up I, to the next yeah. day or next session yeah. and he's just gonna I reverse about us that back because i didn't honestly it. what yeah. would have been great is he should have used that now right right that um, would have been the coolest yeah, right thing yeah <laughs> um but but the thing I, is I, he I, yeah the the other guy the right so in canon the other guy used it right the other the other guy right. used his power um yeah oh which is that the metasonic thing he can yeah yeah exactly people. which actually yeah. honestly it might mean that he can still do it though because it was literally victor did it victor was the one who did it so i think he actually might be able to but i mean victor? if he's drawing the power from somebody else you can't imagine that no because be okay like so a... the way the way that i need to we need to check this real quick because he might actually just use the power right now um because <laughs> I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Um, but that was what that's what he would do if he could, right? Obviously. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy for real. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me check. Okay, so he's using concert of minds. Um, on their own turn, any member of the Gestalt may use any power or technique known by any other member using the other member's skill levels as necessary and paying eff- any effort cost from their own pool. This Gestalt shares only psychic power, not thoughts or senses. Um, at the... Let's see. Okay, that is all... That all seems correct. Now, it really just depends on the wording of the precog power. Wait, are they all psychics? I know that the... They are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Victor is a wild psychic talent guy, but he has one ability. Uh, okay. He has one minor ability, yes. Okay. Which is that? No, Reversing which is... The, that. The was, he was using Han's ability that time. Uh, yeah. Like, he was using it from Han's... Yeah. Basically, the way that it's worded, it sounds like all of them have the same abilities shared between all of them, but they're using it as if it's themselves. Basically, Han's has combined their brains into one psychic... Yeah. Each uh, of them has the full cool. suite of psychic powers, basically, based up from all the others. I, um, I thought oh, only the right? Meta Scion could use the other powers, not the no. Other it's all it's all of them. Ever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Holy crap. that's why it's called the, the psychic concert of minds. Thing. Yeah. So he's level four then, right? He's no, level three. That's a that's a three, that's thing, a three one. A level three. I'm gonna eat this guy's body. <laughs> all right, we should we should we should do we should do the thing. Yes, you know this. He they have to be within three meters. Uh, to start it, then it doesn't matter. They can be at any distance and it's still active. Oh, persist as long as effort yeah. remains committed. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, let me just check. Um, I mean, there's got all be, it like, says. All it says in English vision is this ability is tremendously draining and can be only used once per day. But that sounds mm-hmm. like it's a li- one once per person power. So yeah, I think literally what happens is Hans he sees this happen. Um, the robot says, "This is not as you predicted," and he says. No, but that's why I have this. And then he does the same thing again, and we revert to the to the beginning of the turn order, and the ship is back here. And he's just like, he's like, I will get you, Evelyn. Like, and then we oh, cliffhanger man. there. <laughs> this is I, stupid. All right. Well, so before we do this, he has to commit effort twice yes, now. He does. Yeah, and he will. drops. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And also, we've now established that this team can do this four times every scene or every day, which I think might be a dangerous, like, I don't know how often you intend us to run into this group, but this isn't going to be a feasible thing if every time we run into them, they can do this four times, is all I'm saying. Because every combat's going to take three hours. I mean, three times, but yeah. <laughs> okay, but let's, let's oh, have I guess to show computer them. guy doesn't count as a, the AI doesn't count as a psychic, I guess that makes sense. Um, yes, I don't think he does in this case. Okay. Yeah. But Anyways, I just yeah. <laughs> this doesn't. So so this is the thing. Yeah, we'll we'll go to after show and we'll talk about this. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Elysian Road credits. We we go from there. All right. <laughs> I hate so much about the person. You <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. I feel like that's a quote from something, and it's, it's not. Office. It's just a quote no, from it's the Office. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, it is. It's a quote from something. I didn't know. <laughs>